I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 301 of our Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went to the Fantasy Straight chasing after Shiny Altaria. We did get a couple Altaria encounters, but unfortunately, none of them are shiny. Today, we're going to Mount Far Away because we are going to be doing something a little bit fun this time around. We're going to be going to the 30th floor. On the 30th floor, there's a guaranteed mystery house. Just double check. Let me make sure we have an escape orb. Uh, and the guaranteed feature house, um, we have a chance of seeing Riolu and or Shiny Celebi. So that's what we're aiming for today is one of those two. I don't think there's any Pokemon in this dungeon um, that are fainted that we needed. Uh, but as you can see, speaking of Pokemon that we need, at the very top left there of your device... Whether you're watching me on your TV screen, your etch a sketch, your wristwatch, your cellular device, whatever the case might be, you'll see that we're currently at 461 out of 473. And of course, that 473 number includes every single individual Pokemon in the Pokedex, including all 28 Shinies, which we have 25 of. We're just missing Shiny Celebi, Shiny Altaria, and Shiny Magikarp. It also includes all 28 Unknown. That's A through Z, or A through Z if you're European. And of course the question mark, explanation mark, which we have complete as well. I know it's crazy. Nobody in their right mind would even consider collecting all 20 unknown, let alone do it. Well, I'm crazy enough, and I've done it. So that's done. So, we're missing just a handful of Pokemon. We're definitely not missing a Weedle. I can tell you guys that much for free. Oh um, well, hell no, we're not going to have that. We're going to use Sunny Day. And uh, we're going to keep moving forward. So again, the 30th floor is the one we're looking for. Now, there are chances. There are chances that we could see a, a mystery house as well on the way. We do have two invitations on us, so we can see two. Um, again, Shiny Celebi for sure can be in any mystery house, from what I understand. Riolu is still kind of in the air, because I can't really find a direct answer to that. Um, but from what I've seen, there were people that claimed that they got... Riolu from the 30th floor on this dungeon, so I feel pretty safe about doing this and looking for Riolu, but otherwise I have no idea. I know for sure someone said they got a, a Lucario from the 30th floor of this dungeon, but was worried that maybe you can only get evolved fighting Pokemon from that uh, mystery house. We'll see. We'll be doing a handful of these unless we get lucky and get both today. That'd be amazing. Talk about an episode. Um... But we'll see. Obviously, we'll probably have to do a couple runs through here at the very least. Hopefully, we get lucky and get them all. And uh, as I mentioned last episode, we'll kind of switch back and forth between Shiny Hunting and uh, getting this Shiny Celebi and Riolu. Technically, still Shiny Hunting, but when I say Shiny Hunting, I mean like the rare spawn Pokemon. Like in this dungeon in particular, that Pokemon would be Electrode, which we already have. So there is a small chance that we see Shiny Electrode today. Which, it's always funny when you see a shiny Pokemon you're not looking for, because it always hurts your heart. And that's happened to us a few times, unfortunately. Shiny Zangoose comes to mind. Well, there's a uh, an Electrode on this dungeon floor, and I'm not even going to look at it, because I don't even want to know that it's shiny. Or not. I just, I just I want to move forward. I'm scared to see that it's a shiny Electrode, because it's going to make me sad. And there's a Lanoon, which we do not need. I'll quickly tell you what you uh, what we need. I can tell you off the top of my head we need Umbreon, Trico, Grovile, and Sceptile, Skitty. Um, now I'm starting to uh, lose sight of what we need here. There's not many. Obviously the three Shinies I mentioned earlier, Shiny Celebi, um, Shiny Magic Cover, Shiny Altaria. We also need Sylveon, Riolu. And maybe I'm missing one or two. That I cannot remember off the top of my head. Did I say Leafeon? Because I know we need Leafeon as well. So we need Umbreon, Leafeon, and Sylveon. Trico, Grovas, Sceptile. Skitty, Umbreon. I said Umbreon already. Uh, I'll check here in a minute. I'll, I'll uh, 
double check to see if I missed any Pokemon. Feebas. Feebas is the only one I missed. So we need all the ones I mentioned and Feebas. Alright, so we need to go to that Monster House down there. Again, you can find shiny Pokemon Monster House. We found one so far in a Monster House. I do know that there is a way to manipulate. Not really, well, manipulate your save file so that you can constantly go in and out of uh, the same Monster House, essentially. And basically just go in there and then reload it. Over and over again until you find the shiny in there. We didn't do that, obviously, but that is something that you can do if you want to look into it. I wanted to find it organically. We had we came this far into the uh, the playthrough, so I don't want to. I might as well get all the, the shinies. I don't want to say fairly because you know I don't want to like say that anyone that uses that trick is is uh, doing it unfairly. You know, I'm not necessarily above manipulating things on the switch to do what I, what I need done in the past to help with like my living dexes in some of the games by manipulating the time in the uh, on the switch to find Pokemon on certain days find Pokemon certain weather conditions in the wild etc etc so I'm not gonna sit here and judge people that's definitely not what my intention is but Although I feel like this might be a little bit more extreme than that, but at the same, at the end of the day, it's basically the same thing. You're manipulating something on the switch um, to get what you're looking for. But you know, we had to come this far without doing that. So I want to maintain, I guess, the purity of the uh, the shiny hunt. Oh boy, here we go, shiny Electro coming up. I can't even see. Okay, it's not shiny. Thank goodness. It's obviously shiny electrode instead of red on the bottom, it's blue on the bottom. Alright, we're almost a third of the way through here. We've uh, had two electrode encounters, one we didn't go look at, but it was there. Didn't want to look though, I was scared. Now one problem we might run into, we might run out of apples. So, if I can find any apples, I definitely want to make sure we grab them. Oh, hell no. But yeah, pretty much though, the, the, the hardest things to do in this game right now gets a regular electrode is uh, obviously the shiny Pokemon and then the Riolu once we get those done everything else will be very easy to uh, to accomplish and really those are t I mean by definition easy as long as you can find them right like if we can find shiny Altaria a handful of times it's we can we'll recruit it right that's just the reality of it but it's just it's just doing it right like it's, it's not like none of the things that we're doing is impossible to do. It's just going to take time. We'll eventually get it. You know what I mean? Oh, we definitely want that apple. Okay. That's going to help a little bit. Mass for alligator just chilling. 14th floor. We're nearly halfway there. Double electrode. Mantike is sitting there, which we don't need. So double electrode action... Now this dungeon I feel like was pretty easy to get the shiny. I don't remember how many times we had to run through to get the shiny electrode. Possibly even just one time um, after we got the uh, the Ho-Oh. I don't remember. But with it being a 60 floor dungeon, obviously you can go through this dungeon um, and, f and see like 10 encounters pretty... There's a shiny electrode right there, son of a bitch. <laughs> But it's pretty easy because you'll get so many encounters that there's a high chance that one of them would be shiny, right? Eventually, you would find a shiny. Same with shiny Ditto. Shiny Ditto was very easy for us to get too. Well, I wouldn't say that because finding Ditto is kind of kind of an interesting thing. You had to search like every floor for, uh, if I remember right, for items. Because I think in this game, Ditto's were almost like mimics in like uh, RPGs, where it would pop out of an item. But but since it was 99 floors to find shiny Ditto. 
the uh, chance like of, of like encountering one was pretty high because it was such a long dungeon. Because um, we're having more encounters overall. But then you also had a dungeon where we found shiny Metagross, which took us quite a you know quite a few attempts. I believe that dungeon was only nine floors, so obviously less chances uh, to encounter a Metagross in general, let alone a shiny one. So it's kind of like a little fun thing, you know. I'll eat that apple up. I actually had an apple earlier today myself, and it was delicious. Didn't realize it was handling that kind of, uh, wasn't paying attention. But it was a delicious freaking apple, dude. Probably the best apple I've ever had. And I'm not even exaggerating. I gotta give me some more of those. I didn't keep the packaging, so I don't know. I don't know which brand it was, so now I gotta like try to figure it out. But it was in like a bag that you like rip open, and there was like seven apples in there. But I gotta figure out what it was, cause it was uh, whew. good as hell. Well, whatever that item was is now destroyed. floor. So here's the thing, it could take us a hundred plus runs in here, right? Before we find a shiny Celebi or Rio. There's a possibility of that. And then there's a possibility that we don't see a shiny magic card for 20 episodes. So there's, even though there's not a whole lot to do, in terms of numbers, like we only need 12 Pokemon, there is a chance that it could, like, we just get really bad luck and it just takes us forever to find those things. So keep that in mind. I would like to finish very soon, though, so I can start uploading Pokemon Snap, since that game came out almost a year ago now. I really messed up when I decided to wait until we were done with this to do the Pokemon Snap. I've learned my lesson, though. Next time, I won't do that. When it comes to, like, these Pokemon games, we're just going to be uploading them pretty much immediately. Um, depending on the game, obviously, right? And also, we'll be doing it every day, like we're doing Brilliant Diamond right now. When Legends Arceus drops, as soon as I get the game, upload that first episode. Sandstorm. And you'll get an episode every single day at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, like we're doing Brilliant Diamond right now. If, by some reason, and there is a possibility this will happen, in fact, I think it actually will happen. There's going to be some crossover uh, time in between Legends Arceus and Brilliant Diamond. Because I'll tell you, I've done quite a few episodes of Brilliant Diamond in the last couple days. And I'm not going to say how many. But I've done quite a few and I'm only two badges deep. So, thinking about how far we're at now, even though it's every day, because Legends Arceus comes out, what, the, I think it's the 29th of January? Let me double check that. I believe it's the 29th. 28th, I was really close, okay. The 28th of January, right? So that gives me 28, uh, like 50... 55 days or something, right? From today. Something like I'm just, I'm just quick, quick mass. I'm not even doing the mass. I'm just estimating. So, will I be completely done with that game by then? I don't know. I mean, I will be, but we'll have every episode of that by then. I don't know. Right? Because we're doing once a day. So, if there is crossover, and there probably will be, I will probably move the time in which we uh, in which we upload the Legends RCS game to probably s well shoot. Here's the thing: I have I so what I do right now is I have a video at noon, 3 p.m., 
and then 6 p.m. I guess Legends Arceus will be 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. If there's crossover, and then once we're done with all the uploads of Diamond, then we'll have uh, Legends Arceus take that time slot, right? So that's what I'll do. Because like I said, we're quite a few episodes deep, and I probably spent probably way too many episodes in the underground, if we're being honest. But I was having a blast in the underground. And I'm going to spend even more time in the underground, probably. <laughs> I'm just having a blast. I'm having a, I'm having so much fun in the underground on uh, Brilliant Dome. I might get spoil anything, don't worry. But I'm just... We're going to be going into the underground uh, quite a bit. And probably... I'm not exactly sure how the Pokemon contests work in that game. Yeah, Sandstorm. Um, we'll eat the apple here in a second. So I'm not sure how the contest exactly works there if we get like ribbons. Or if it's just like a ranking system. Whatever the case might be though, my plan is to like... Whatever uh, set of standards I give it, like what I decide is 100%ing the contests, because I haven't figured that part out yet. Not another shiny I just want to see. Two electrodes, by the way, out of the monster house. I think that's the first time. Maybe not the first time we got two rare, uh, rare spawns in a uh, monster house. Anyways, um, so whatever, like I decide the definition of 100%ing the uh, contests are whether there are ribbons I want to get every ribbon if there if it's just a ranking system I guess we'll max the rank out whatever the case might be my plan is to 100% that as well I don't know if I'll do all of that on camera I don't know how long it's gonna take if it's just ribbons I probably will do it all on camera but if it's like a ranking system where I gotta play like a hundred contests I don't know if you guys want to see me do a hundred contests maybe you do I don't know I'll definitely do some of it on camera but I might have to do some off camera and uh, go from there. So, because like I said, we have done contests, so I, we got some sort of rank, but I didn't get a ribbon. So I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'll look into it at some point once I like finish the game. I haven't really looked up anything in the game yet. I've looked up only like some Pokedex stuff like uh, like what level, you know, Zubat or, or whoever learns a, a flying move. But I haven't uh, actually looked at all at the game itself because I'm trying to avoid any type of spoiler that might be there. But I have a, like, a strong like feeling that there's like nothing to really spoil. It is a remake of a game. They said that they wanted to stay true to the remakes. The only thing that might be any type of spoiler is post-game stuff. And that's why I've kind of avoided that because I don't know I don't want to necessarily know what's in the post game. If there's anything exciting, I want to be surprised by it. So that's why I haven't looked into anything specifically. One thing I do want to look at at some point is shiny hunting because I don't know exactly what you do to shiny hunt in this game. I'm guessing it's probably the Pokey Radar because I remember in uh, Diamond Pro and Platinum you do the Pokey Radar chaining. And I don't know if they if they updated it at all to make it easier, um, kind of like Sun and Moon, where it was pretty much like you pretty much was guaranteed to find a shiny. It just it just you know it just it just depends on like how long it's going to take to actually get it. Um, so I don't know exactly what they did, if they changed it, or you know if Masuda method is still the best method or the easiest method. I have no idea. I'm assuming there's also a shiny charm in the game. Don't actually know if there is. I would assume at this point that there is. So that might be the only thing I might actually look up is shiny hunting. Out of just sheer curiosity. But everything else I'm kind of keeping blind for right now. But I am enjoying the game so far. I really enjoy the underground aspect of it. Really glad they brought that back. And uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Alright, so now we should see a monster house. Not a monster house, but a mystery house on this floor. Guaranteed. 
That is what I was told. And by told me that's what I read on Reddit. Now Reddit wouldn't lie. There it is, okay. Now, this is the moment of truth, boys, because after this we're done. So let's see what this is. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous here. We're looking for Shiny Celebi and or Riolu. Here we go. Ah, Metacham. I saw the, the, the pink, and I thought for a half second maybe it was Celebi, but that's alright. Now we can go ahead and just leave then. Huge bummer. I like this layout a little bit better. Okay. So let us... Escape out. Alright, so quickly check the bulletin board. Do some item management. And they'll wrap it up there. Next episode, I guess we'll go after Shiny Magikarp in the Marvelous Sea. And then after that, we'll probably go back after Celebi, Mount Far Away basically again. And like I said, we'll kind of switch back and forth. We'll alternate the Shiny Hunt until we find one of the two. Um, the Altaria of the Magikarp, then we'll obviously stay to the one that we need. And then maybe as like a, like a, just to really break it up every now and then, maybe go after like an Eevee or something. Or a couple EVs. But I'm kind of want to hold off on that because I want to find a, some better Joyous Tower missions that are. And well, they'll end like on a, like a smaller floor. But we'll see. I don't know why I keep going in there when I do this. I want to grow here. Let's see, turn down. We don't really need that. I don't want the tickets or anything. Okay. Check the Kecleon shop. Uh, nothing we need. Mostly looking for inviting orbs, rare quality orbs, and invitations at that point. Alright, we're gonna need some more apples for sure. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, we'll just sell them. So we want some more apples. We're gonna have one perfect apple. And a couple smaller apples. We want another escape orb. And an invitation. All right. So that gives a Rattata. Don't need Rattata. Pretty forest. All right, so we don't need anything here. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Like I said, next episode, we're going to the Marvelous Sea, chasing after Shiny Magikarp, etc., etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm the Evermore Daniels. Being your farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!